Hello, this video is about the atmospheric monitoring system. These are the three main motivations for this project. First, we want everyone to be aware of poor indoor air quality. Second, we believe the people should be notified immediately of any dangers in their environment. And lastly, we wanted to address and fix the current problems and existing solutions. This project consists of a system of sensors with an integrated mobile application. The sensors currently at use are the KY028 temperature sensor from the 37 sensor pack, Honeywell's HIH4030 humidity sensor, and the MQ7 carbon monoxide sensor. At the moment, the Wi-Fi is being broadcasted using the flexible ESP32 module from Espressif. This data is being transmitted to the ESP32 using the Atmega 328P. All right, we're just gonna do a quick overview of our prototype here. So we decided to develop on the Atmel Explain Mini, uses a Atmega 328P, which is right here. We do plan on transitioning to the TICC3200, which has a built-in Wi-Fi module. But until we do that, we just wanted to test everything out, make sure it works. And we use the ESP32 here, which has Wi-Fi and Bluetooth on. We may uh, experiment with the Bluetooth, depending on how things go. So our initial, we set up our three sensors, which we have the temperature sensor right here which uses a thermistor with a negative coefficient. We have a humidity sensor right here, which is just a typical ADC analog out. And then we have this MQ7 carbon monoxide sensor, which has heating electrodes, a voltage, and then an analog out based on a regression line. To power these, the sensors, we use these USB modules and just with some decoupling ca capacitors to flatten out the, the lines there, ground it, and that got all the sensors powered. And so then the idea is all these values go right to the Atmega. The Atmega sends those through UART to the Wi-Fi module, which then contacts our app. The alert system is based on the LED for now, which will be red if a dangerous level occurs and then green if it's okay. Here we have a demo of the temperature sensor. As we blow hot air towards the sensor, the value increases on the corresponding interface. Here we have a demo of the humidity sensor. This sensor has a change in value when the humidity in the air around it changes. As the sensor is being cupped, there is an increase in humidity and is reflected on the interface. Here we have a demo of the carbon monoxide sensor. In this scenario, using a car exhaust, we will examine a change in carbon monoxide using a measurement in parts per million. The parts per million measurement for a car exhaust should be around 100 to 200 parts per million. Currently, we have successfully gathered data from the sensors, sampling values every second. Using LED notifications, the project notifies the user that there is a danger in the environment. This is accomplished using a quick transmission through Wi-Fi. The gathered data consists of high precision during normal functionality. Problems that we face during these initial stages of our project include issues with the ESP32 Wi-Fi module. Also, another problem we faced was that the carbon monoxide sensor had to be heated for over 48 hours and has a startup time of about 20 minutes 
just to calibrate.